breaking was mainly utilized in the Caribbean. It was used against enslaved men who were seen as defiant. The process included forcing the male slave to bend over a tree stump, drop trowel, expose his bear behind while it is propped in the air. The slave was then flogged to tenderize the flesh for the sodomy that followed multiple times. This form of punishment was done in full view of the slave family and friends to instill fear in the hopes to prevent future rebellion. Men of bondage who were victims of this inhumane, sadistic, homoerotic, emasculating punishment often ran away from the plantations or killed themselves as the humiliation was much too strong to overcome. The sodomy was often performed by a white man who traveled from plantation to plantation to rape male slaves. Sex farms allowed multiple slave owners to gang rape male slaves as punishment for any supposed wrongdoing. Homosexuality in this era was not a popular pastime, yet raping male slaves as a form of plantation punishment was somehow acceptable. Buck breaking is typically left out of the history books due to its taboo nature of male on male rape. Society has ignored any testimony to male on male rape until only recently. Sexual violence used to project fear can be a powerful tool of manipulation. Weaponizing sexuality can debilitate one's core self-esteem and disable their sense of community. Buck breaking was a means to squash rebellion before it was even conceptualized. Families of the enslaved Bucks were forced to bear witness to the sodomy, ensuring there was no will to be defiant or rebellious. Sexual mutilation, including castration, were other forms of punishment for those with stronger will. These acts solidified the mental dominance white men needed to tame their bucks into obedient, working slaves. Emasculating male slaves physically was the final step to subdue the defiant buck.